Hi my loves, today I'm going to show you how I achieve this holiday makeup look and if you would like to see how I achieve it then keep on watching. I'll see you in a bit. Bye! So I start with moisturizing my skin. I'm using the Kills Deep Moisture Clarifying Cream all over my face. This is a really good moisturizing cream for dry skin. And next I'm taking the Lancome Ten Edo Foundation and I'm applying it all over my face. I'll have the details of the foundation in the description box. And I'm using the Real Technique Buffing Brush to buff the foundation into my skin. I highlighted um, my face off camera. I do have a highlight and contouring video. I will link that in the description box. You can watch that. And uh, just to speed up the process, I decided to highlight off camera and apply the highlight powder to set up my concealer. And next I'm going to take the Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder in dark, I believe. And I'm applying it all over my face to set my foundation. And then I'm taking a brush just to take off the excess and just buff it, buff the powder into my skin. Next, I'm taking a contour powder and I'm using the MAC W58 NW58 um, powder and I'm applying it on below my cheeks, on my temples, and um, my forehead as well. Um, the areas I usually contour. Next, I'm taking the Covergirl Queens Collections um, bronzer and I'm applying it on the areas where I contour just to warm up my face. It gives that nice, um, warm look to my face. And next I'm taking this pencil from Ferro and I'm using that to outline my brows and just to fill it in a little bit. I have a brow tutorial coming up soon. I keep saying that, but trust me guys, I do have a brow tutorial coming up soon. Next I'm taking the Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade and I'm just using that to fill in my brows, uh, to fill in any gap um, in my brows. And then I'm taking this mascara from Maybelline, it's a brown mascara, I'm using that to set my brows and just to keep the hair on my brows in place. Next I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn and I'm using that to conceal under my brows just to clean up under my brows and also highlight under my brows and then I'm using my fingers to blend um, any harsh lines. I'm taking the same concealer and I'm applying it on my lid. This is going to act as my um, primer and also conceal my lid and um, he, even my skin on my lid. <laughs> Don't know what's wrong with my brain. And then I'm taking an eyeshadow and I'll have the details of the eyeshadow in the description box just to set the concealer in place so that it doesn't move. Next I'm taking a warm brown eyeshadow and this is from Krylon, I'll have the name in the description box and I'm using that as my crease color and just applying it with a fluffy brush. I'm taking this pigment from Makeup Geek and it's called Vegas Light and I'm applying that on my lid. I first I applied it um, like that uh, on its own and then I decided to wet my brush and pick up the product and just to intensify the color a little bit more.
and then I'm taking a fluffy brush just blending the edges just to um, blend the eyeshadows and on um, my crease and the lid together and I'm taking a dark brown eyeshadow uh, just to deepen my crease and I'm using a, a crease um, brush with that and then I'm also applying it at the outer V of my of my eyes I'm taking this eyeshadow from Inglot and I'll have the name in the description box it's gonna act as my inner corner highlight color and then I'm taking a darker brown eyeshadow this is from a wet and wild palette um, I believe it's called the comfort palette and I'm just applying it on the outer V just to deepen the outer V a little bit more to make it look more sultry I'm also applying the same color on my lower lash line and just to darken the, the lower lash line a little bit more. I'm taking the Isla Exaggerate Lashes in 141 and I did apply two of those lashes, I double stacked them um, just to give it that drama and then I'm taking this mascara from MAC I'll have the name in the description box just applying it on my lower lash line I'm taking the Gerard Cosmetic Star Powder in Lucy and I'm using that to highlight the my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose and my above my brows as well just to give it that glow and then I am using this lip liner from NYX and this is called Never. I've been using it a lot lately because I really love the lip liner. And then I'm taking these two lipstick. One is for Max Factor and the other one is for Wet n Wild. I'll have the name in the description box. And then I'm using that on my lips. I'm using the Max Factor first and then I'm going to use the Wet n Wild on top of that. And that's the finished look with the first lipstick and um, just wanted to show you two options one with a kind of nude pink lipstick and one with a darker lip um, it works it looks nice with both lipsticks and the next lipstick is by bourgeois and I'll have the name in the description box and this is what it looks like it's very moisturizing it's not a matte lipstick at all uh, I would say that this lipstick moves a lot but it's really a gorgeous color and if you've really got dry skin it works um, because right now I've been having a lot of dry skin so this works for me and yeah let me know what you think thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and also follow me on my social media to see more pictures um, thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video bye